extraction. We go into space, we get the astronauts, we bring them home. Any questions? Yeah, like a thousand. We don't have time for a thousand. We're doing space missions now. Cool. Let's go. never seen a rating like this. Kurt, take Peter, go! Be right back. land was given to us by the U.S. government. We have no intention of taking it back. We're not here for you. We're looking for one of the X-Men, Jean Grey. I haven't seen her in a long time. And you won't mind if we look around. Do you mind if I came to you home unannounced and uninvited? Look, I know who you are. I don't want to fight. No, you don't. Stop that. I said stop that right now! It's not me. It's me. Gene? Gene! Front. Stay out of my way. I'm sorry for what she did. But I can't let you go in there. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. But nobody cares anymore. We do this here, now. They'll see us as monsters. Violent freaks fighting on the streets of New York. What did I tell you? Damn it, man, your homeland will be gone. Everything you care about. Save it. Don't do this, Eric. The girl dies. Who are you? The better question is, who are you? Are you a scared little girl who answers to a man in a chair? Or are you the most powerful creature on the planet? I don't know who I am. Yes, you do. You're the girl who everyone abandons. Maybe they had good reason. Because what's inside you? You're afraid of it because you think it makes you bad, evil. All the words you've been taught to keep you in line. Words created a very long time ago by men with very little minds. They can't begin to comprehend what you are. Even your ex-men. You can. That's enough, boys and girls. That's enough. The X-Men have today done an incredibly brave thing. They have once again proved to humanity exactly why they need us, people like yourselves. The president sends his regards, as well as his heartfelt gratitude. And as for myself, I've never been prouder. Enjoy yourselves. You certainly deserve it. In fact, you all do. No more class at the end of the day. Yeah. Gene? You gave us quite a scare up there. How are you feeling? Uh, actually, I feel fine. Hank? Yeah. Would you take a look at Gene? Standard medical for anyone injured in the field. Thank you. You know, the president was almost sending his condolences. She should be dead. Thankfully, she's not. 
I basically did everything. And Gene did a little, like, towards the end. But it was mostly all me. You put us in danger, Charles. You put those kids in danger. They're not kids anymore, Raven. And I care about their safety just as much as you do. Are you sure about that? Because we're taking bigger and bigger risks. And for what? Please, tell me it's not your ego. Being on the cover of magazines, getting a medal from the president. You like it, don't you? As opposed to being hunted and despised. Well, you know, actually, I do. It's all just a means to an end, Raven. What end is that? Keeping us safe. You should understand better than anyone that we're only ever one bad day away from them starting to see us as the enemy again. So what? We wear matching costumes and smile in pictures that to make everyone feel safe? That is a small price to pay for keeping the peace. By risking our people to save theirs. Yes, yes. It's funny. I can't actually remember the last time you were the one risking something. And by the way, the women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to ex-women. Mutants. Since the discovery of their existence, they have been regarded with fear, suspicion, often hatred. Are mutants the next link in the evolutionary chain? Or simply a new species of humanity? Fighting for their share of the world. The first X-Men I saw was the first X-Men. It's pretty wild to think these movies started 20 years ago. I've never seen anything like this. It's really fresh and original. When you're growing up and you think about big action movies, that's what X-Men is. It's been amazing to grow up and be a part of that world. X-Men, it has a real relevance with modern life. It's a superhero franchise, but it's also about a group of outcasts. Being a mutant is a metaphor for anybody who's disenfranchised. People relate to the X-Men because they represent the other. Everybody at some point has struggled with feeling different or not accepted. It's about being comfortable in your own skin and owning your differences and knowing that that's a really powerful thing. All the X-Men movies introduced that team as a family. In Dark Phoenix, we are ripping that family apart. She's not Jean anymore. The X-Men universe isn't going to be the same after this. She's still our friend. It has been my honor as a fan to take care of this character. This is definitely a dream come true. It's been an incredible joy. It's been a privilege and a lot of fun. To help bring the X-Men movies to life. We are so grateful to have fans like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of you for your support and letting us be a part of this world. You think you can fix me? Jean, you are not broken. This is the end, beautiful friend. The mind is a fragile thing. It takes only the slightest tap to tip it in the wrong direction. This is the end. Charles, what did you do? I had to keep her stable. I protected her. From the truth? another word for that. I came looking for answers. You feel like you don't belong here. You don't. They can't begin to comprehend what you are. She's changing. And what? You didn't come here looking for answers. You came here looking for permission. Jean. She's all rage, pain, and it's all coming out at once. Jean lost control, but she's still our friend. This is your fault, Charles. The world is on the brink. I'm sorry, I didn't stop it sooner. You're always sorry, Charles, and there's always a speech, and nobody cares. There's still hope. 
Don't do this. The right to fear me. I've seen evil. And I'm looking at it now. Ladies and gentlemen of NASA, this is Charles Xavier. Help is on the way. We're doing space missions now. Cool. We get the astronauts, we bring them home. Go. The heat signature's rising fast. We gotta get out of here. Where's Jean? Where is she? Jean! Should be dead. Did you hear what the kids are calling you? Phoenix. Hello, Jean. Who are you? The better question is, who are you? Something's happening to me. When I lose control, bad things happen. But it feels good. That power destroyed everything it ever came into contact with. Until you. The X-Men fear you. And what they fear, we seek to destroy. She'll kill us all. The girl dies. She's still our friend. She's not Jean anymore. Me. That's right. That would be a bad idea. Why did you make me do that? Look at me. Focus on my voice. I'm not giving up on you, Jean. She was my friend. You're my family, Jean. Stop. No matter what. Stop. Stop. And if you stop fighting that force inside you, if you embrace it, you will possess the very power of a god. She'll kill us all. Tell me how we fix this, Charles. Tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. And what they don't understand. What they fear, and what they fear, we seek to destroy. This is your fault, Charles. I tried to protect her. I'm scared. When I lose control, bad things happen to people I love. A girl dies. She's still Jean. We can still help her. Sometimes, we want to believe people are something that they are not. By the time you realize who they are... Jeez! It's too late.